Aloha, this is Joe from the lovely Manoa Valley on the island of Oahu. Um, I got me a picture. My family and I just went to Kauai, and here's a beautiful beach um, on the northwest uh, end of Kauai. Very gorgeous. Um, but I'm not here to show you my um, travel photos. I'm here to talk to you about, uh, about QR codes. Most of us know what QR codes are already, um, but maybe some of us aren't sure exactly what uh, what to use them for. And there's a lot of ways uh, they can be used in the offline, I guess, end of online marketing. Um, and there's a lot of different places to get these uh, QR codes. Uh, you can get them for free. Uh, and there's uh, this one is QR code monkey. We have QR code generator. Um, one thing about QR codes is most of these free sites uh, will give you uh, static QR codes for totally for free, but dynamic QR codes cost extra. And what makes it a uh, QR code dynamic is that uh, you can uh, change uh, the URL that it's uh, pointing to. Uh, so if you have a static QR code uh, that uh, anybody who find, might find that um, code out in the wild, right, so to speak, uh, forever and ever, uh, that uh, QR code will point to the same exact link. Um, dynamic QR codes, though, uh, can, be, uh, can be changed using shortened, uh, link shorteners. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how I make my uh, homemade dynamic QR codes. There are a lot of different things you might want to do with a QR code. Um, most obvious is what I'm going to do is put my URL, uh, 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 attach a link to my URL uh, with that QR code to drive traffic to my site. Uh, but you could just have a text message in, uh, you know, that uh, opens when they scan that URL, U URL or an email address. You can have provide your contact in information, right? Uh, it's even more um, uh, contact information in these different card uh, formats. Uh, you can provide location of your restaurant, for instance. Um, you could do a link to your Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, uh, or maybe you have a, like a restaurant or a cafe. Um, you can uh, put a link to, or not a link, but uh, uh, include your um, Wi-Fi login data uh, so uh, the customer can just scan the QR code in your uh, menu or whatever, and, uh, and then they can find out how to get online in your establishment, right? What I'm doing with uh, mine is I have these posters I'm making on Canva, and I would have put my QR code. Uh, in fact, I want to put a different link for each of these uh, three posters. Uh, one will be a link to my dinner cruises that I'm offering on my site, another to dolphin uh, tours, uh, as well as whale watching, uh, and then uh, one for Waikiki shows, okay? So I'm going to be generating three QR codes. I've actually done these already, but I'm going to do one uh, for the sake of uh, this training video. And I am going to use, uh, let's see, I'm going to use this uh, QRCodeGenerator.com. I'm not sure if I've used it before, but uh, it's really, really simple to do, okay? We're going to make a static QR code. One thing that all these different, oh, by the way, I have this uh, uh, designs moz.com. I, I just Google top QR code generators, and this is, uh, you know, something I found on the uh, first page. Uh, so I liked all these links, and I've experimented with most of these different generators, QR code generators, and some I like a little better than others. Um, but basically, they all offer static QR codes for free, um, and then maybe they'll add, you, they'll give you some free design elements 
um, and maybe for some other design elements, you know, logos and whatnot, um, you might have to pay a subscription or something. Uh, the dynamic ones all, uh, they say that you can register for free, but usually it's, I think they're all like trial periods or whatever. So to, to have a totally free QR code, you want to go with the static QR code. So like I say, all of these sites that uh, offer QR codes, they'll give you the free one, the static one for free, um, and have you pay for the dynamic QR codes, which allow you to change uh, the target uh, link and and also allow you to do some tracking. Well, I don't uh, really want to pay if I don't have to, so I'm going to get the static one, but I have a hack using Pretty Links. Um, that will allow me still to change the target and to uh, uh, to track uh, the clicks as well uh, from this QR code. Okay, so I want to uh, make a QR code that I'm going to put here, right? It's going to lead to uh, my page on my website uh, that uh, takes you to the different shows that we offer that you can book through our website. Okay, so I'm going to copy that link and I am going to put it into Pretty Links. Okay, so I need to add a Pretty Link. And my target Earl, and I am going to call, just call this shows. Well, maybe I will show, call it Waikiki shows. Okay. And as you see, I have the tracking enabled. Um, I'm going to leave the other options like that for now, except I'm going to remove that no fall. Create. Okay, so now I have a pretty link. This is my permanent link uh, that I can uh, attach to the QR, uh, QR code, right? But I can always uh, go into pretty links and um, change the uh, target URL, right, just by going in here, okay? And we also know that we can track our pretty links, so uh, we don't need any tracking. Uh, we can change our QR code. So we're going to do, I said we we're going to do it in this one. Uh, now I don't want to copy the actual link, but I want to copy this pretty link. Okay, so this is the link for now that we're going to, or this is the permanent link that's going to direct to that other link. Okay, so we go here, create the code. Now these various sites will offer, um, there's some graphic stuff you can do. I don't know about this particular one, how much you can do for free. Um, I will, some of them you can do quite a bit of uh, tweaking for totally for free with the uh, colors and the styling uh, and inserting uh, logo, but um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to download this. Okay, so that was just a quick little snafu. Uh, I had to convert the file uh, from a JPG to a PNG. Uh, and I've done that, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the QR code here into the space, stretch it to fit, and there, I am done. I'm ready to get this to the printer um, and get it out there. I uh, hope uh, you found this useful, a way you can turn your free static QR code using pretty links. You can have it a trackable and changeable QR code. Uh, please uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I hope you like this.